look look at this see look it's really nice have my daughter and my granddaughter, my great granddaughter and my husband all to come here. Never really never really came to this spot before. Like our our cabin was just right here. And all all this bush wasn't there. This is like our, our playground, me and my sister and uh, my grandparents. Um, my grandmother was Switzticia from from here in Malhat, and my father was logging right here. There's the booming ground right here where he worked. And, um, the story I heard was that my father kept me in an apple box, a little baby down the beach, and my sister. She was uh, two years older than me. She, she took care of me on the beach. And that, that's the story I heard. That's, that's all I remember, you know, because I don't, I only remember what I was told. And uh, I remember the house that was here. I seen the house before it went down. And it's, it's like, it's so nice to come home. Look. See? Look. See? Look. Look at the crab. See? What? Crabs. Crabs. See? Mm hmm. Crabs. See? I don't know. Here is. Something that I've felt all season, all year, all this, this whole year for me, myself, is like my self-identity, who I am and where I come from and, and it's something that I need to do for my grandbabies. So it's, my mom is passing her stories down and here, starting right from the beginning. It's amazing. Um, something that I could leave for my granddaughter, my grandbabies, and just really getting close to what my mom wanted to do for my grandkids, is finding that Indian name for her. It's touching. Um, I've always been told that our ancestors are always with us all the time. And it's accepting, accepting everything that, what's our rights, like, does that make sense? Like, um, what belongs to us is ours. It's, that's how it feels to me. It's just empowering. Mm -hmm. It reflects back to what Grandpa has done for my mom, what mm -hmm. she's done, what he's done for my mom and my auntie, all the all his strengths. It's like it's like all the medicines here is is we're we're soaking all that stuff in right now. It's um giving us strength to do what what needs to be done yeah like um, teachings like I talked about teachings and uh, how dad carried it and uh, always helping everyone not excluding anyone and dad was like that he always helped whether it was his last dollar he gave it his last five dollars he gave and if he didn't have money he'd go to 
um, Mr. Hill, the Hill store, and he'd get to where he got credit and paid paid his his um, bill every every two month, every two weeks. And uh, he he bought groceries for our families that came knocking on the door and wanted some uh, groceries for the, their children to go to school. And he, if he didn't have the money, he went and got got it on credit. And that was that was how how dad was. And today, me and me and my husband and my children help help everyone that needs help. <laughs> I remember a daughter talking about she was cooking this big pot of soup all the time. And she says, Mom, I don't even know the names of some of these kids that are here with us mm -hmm. that, that stayed with her every weekend. And um, now all these children have grown up and they remember my grandchildren and their mom and spending the weekend and I told her don't worry about who they are they were visiting in Saanich and they were from up island and but they went and stayed with our daughter and I told her don't worry about who they are there you have a safe home and away from um, the, so they know that they're safe here with you during the weekend with my grandchildren when they were little so all these these little boys and little girls have grown up now. They have their own family, but they still go to my daughter and <laughs> acknowledge her for everything that she did. And that's how dad was, and you know, he, he helped everyone. It was so powerful, like dad, dad was a hard worker. He was a logger all his life. And uh, traveled on the canoe and always, always going out to the beaches. And the beaches today, you can't just go to the beach and just uh, camp there and make fire anymore. Uh, it's all private today, not like in the 19, 1940s, 1950s. We just traveled by canoe and camped and dug clams and um, uh, shot the ducks out there. We had duck soup or, or fished for salmon, and but it's not, not like that today. How dad would just go out. And my grandparents that lived here, they'd go jigging out here and, and, and also for a shrimp, a lot of shrimp out here. And that's, that's what they did, you know. Uh, that's my, my memories. And, uh, coming home here to where the house was right here when I was a baby. It's uh, really, really wonderful to come home. So that little house was just right here. wasn't too close to the road so it had to be had to be over here it was right here <laughs> <laughs> 